everybody, it's Rich Bergel, Director of Conservation Education and Science at the North Carolina Zoo, and I am here to answer your questions. Thanks for asking. Here we go. I think the most rewarding part of my job is feeling like I'm contributing to preventing the extinction of species in the wild. Um, yeah, I really enjoy and feel lucky that I, that I have the job that I do. The favorite part of the job for me is being able to travel to really interesting parts of the world, um, Africa and Asia, and, and see things that a lot of people don't get the opportunity to. Um, and then working with some really, really amazing people as well. In the wild, gorillas can live into their uh, 30s, maybe, maybe 40s, um, but in the zoo, they actually live longer. There are gorillas that have lived into their 60s. The hardest part of doing conservation work is seeing all the challenges and, and how difficult it is to actually get things done. Um, but, but like I said, it's really rewarding and uh, it's a challenge I think that we all have to embrace and take on for the future. I have seen cross river gorillas in the wild. Um, if, after spending many years in the forest, uh, looking for them, studying them, I have been lucky enough to see them for a total time of about seven seconds spread across three different occasions. I think the zoo has done a really good job of conserving a number of different species, gorillas, elephants, red wolves. Um, but I think one of the really cool things that we're doing is helping to conserve vultures, which are a species that not everybody thinks of. For a job like mine, it really helps to have an advanced degree, a PhD or a master's degree in something like biology, zoology, uh, in my case, anthropology. Um, but the experience is also just as important. I started out my career with an undergraduate degree in anthropology, and then I worked as a zookeeper for five years working with gorillas. Then I went on and did a PhD studying gorillas in the wild in West Africa, um, and now I'm the director of Our gorillas do not know sign language, um, but our zookeepers do have a whole training program which allows them to do things like take blood or blood pressure from the gorillas um, and help them participate in their own care. I think the best things that we can do to help wildlife conservation and nature from home is to try to live as sustainably as possible. So to do things like recycle, to reduce your use of energy um, and that kind of thing. And then also visit the North Carolina Zoo. I don't know if this counts as a fieldwork fail, but I think one of my least pleasant experiences doing fieldwork was getting arrested and spending a night in a Nigerian jail. We do take interns, um, and in fact, if you email volunteer at nczoo.org, you can find out more. Zoos across the U.S. collaborate on breeding species uh, through a process called the Species Survival Plan, and we every year a plan is made for every species for who's got, which animal is going to mate with who and which moves are going to happen across the country. Rhinos very rarely break their own horns, um, but they do rub them on things like trees and rocks, which uh, helps to keep them short and smooth. Uh, I guess I've had a number of scary experiences. I've had a scorpion in my sleeve. I've almost stood on a number of different vipers, and I got stung by a wasp that it turns out I was allergic to when I was about five days from the nearest hospital. SMART is a computer program that the zoo helped to develop which um, helps national parks and other protected areas around the world better combat poaching through the use of a bunch of different technologies. Unlike some other species, gorillas don't have a breeding season. They can mate year round and produce offspring year round like most other primates. The zoo is going to be getting tigers. Uh, that'll be part of our new Asia expansion, which is going to be opening over the next few years. This is obviously a trick question. Uh, the greatest movie is King Kong. However, seriously, if you do want to watch a really good movie about gorillas, check out Gorillas in the Mist. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. You submitted some great questions. Please tune in next week where another zoo expert will be answering all the questions you have about the zoo and wildlife. Thanks a lot.